We're going to show you how the X block for claiming a badge to be awarded for a graded subsection, a graded assignment within the Open edX platform for open courses works. Uh, the X block is a component that can be installed with your Open edX instance and you can add as an advanced component in a course. In this case, we're going to work with the course Practical Numerical Methods with Python. I am the instructor of this course that is running right now, and I'm going to log into the course and show you, um, show you my course. All right, so we have four modules uh, so far live, and uh, the plan is for six modules, and we will award a badge for each module um, completed and uh, as evidenced by a graded assessment within the module. The X block was written, was developed by IBL Studios Education, our partners in the creation of this independent MOOC, this independent massive open online course hosted in our own instance of the Open edX platform. IBL helped us to customize our course platform and now has developed this X block for awarding badges within a MOOC. In this work, we've also been interacted, interacting with Professor Daniel Hickey at Indiana University and his team, uh, with whom we have announced in September, uh, that is three months ago, that we would be interacting for this uh, initiative to incorporate badges within Open edX and MOOCs. Daniel Hickey brought in Achievery, a company that he um, is an advisor for and an OB compli OBI compliant provider and host hosting service for badges. In the Achievery service we have created a number of badges for the numerical MOOC course and uh, each badge is, is awarded for a specific module within the numerical MOOC course. In this inter interaction, we've had several uh, different conversations and coordinations to understand how to best incorporate badges within a MOOC. We, we presented this in the Open edX conference jointly, uh, the concept of using badges in a MOOC and the ideas for the, this particular course. With Michael Amigo of IBL Studios, we developed the concept for incorporating a digital badges X block, uh, a component that would be able to understand and dig deep into the database of the Open edX gradebook and be able to extract the information from uh, Open edX to determine whether a student is eligible for earning a badge. We described the original idea, the design, the conceptual design for this um, for this X block in a set of um, very simple slides that um, describe the idea. These slides were um, published before the Open edX conference in this, on the 17th of November, and you can find them on the Figshare repository where I publish all of my uh, open objects, uh, articles, preprints, um, slides, and everything like that. The first thing that one would need to do, of course, is install the X block in the Open edX instance. And the second thing one would need to do is in the advanced settings of the course, one would need to add the badges X block in the advanced module list. Once you have that component added, then it will be available to you as a component that you can add in a unit uh, through the advanced uh, green block. Okay, this is a quick walkthrough of adding a batch component in a uh, course on Open edX. Here I have my course outline for the live course on um, Practical Numerical Methods with Python Numerical MOOC. I'm going to add a badge, a, a component to claim a badge that will be awarded for Module 3 of the course. I'm going to expand Module 3 first in my outline and I already have the contents 
created for Module 3, including a graded assessment, a capstone graded assessment. Notice that we also have some practice problems in this section, but the final graded subsection here is the um, capstone homework that um, constitutes this, the, the criteria for earning a badge for this module. So I'm going to expand this module graded, module graded assessment. You see I have several units. These different units have problems um, that students have to enter their uh, answer to to get a score. I'm going to create a new unit. I'm going to call this unit Claim Your Badge. Okay, this unit will include some instructions that I'm going to add first as a component of text type. I've already prepared some content here that I'm going to create. I'm going to change the settings to call this instructions. And I'm going to add the text that I've already created. I'm going to add it in HTML mode because I've already written it in that form. I've just used an email draft here for my for my draft just to make just to save temporarily the text. Um, and I'm going to paste it here. That's the previously prepared text that I have giving instructions to the students about how to claim their badge. I'm telling them that their minimum score to earn the badge is 70%. Um, I'm telling them, I'm giving them a link to read what a digital badge is. I'm telling them that they will be required to enter one link as evidence of their learning. Our recommendation is to enter the location of their GitHub account or GitHub repository where they hold any code that they wrote to solve the problem. Um, that uh, they needed to solve for this assignment. And then some instructions about the fact that when they earn their badge it will be first private to them until they accept it in the badge hosting service. In this case we're using the badge hosting service Achievery. Okay, so I'm going to save that. That is the instructions, one simple text component in this unit. I'm going to add a new component now. This is the badge uh, claiming component, and it's an advanced component of type claim badge. I think that name is going to be... Um, um, it, it could change. We're still deciding what the name of the X block is going to be, but for the time being it's called claim badge. And um, let's see, I'm going to edit this. The badge ID that I'm going to add here for this module, module 3, I already have created it on the Achievery side, is 2062. Okay, badge description. Okay, this is a awarded for completing module 3 of our course, Numerical MOOC. I've already prepared that text. Uh, congratulations message. Congratulations, congratulations, you've earned your badge for module 3. And make sure to accept it in the hosting site. A message for the students I'm going to enter here in, in the congratulations text. Uh, not enough score text. So what's the message if they don't yet have the score? I prepared a message that says, you don't have enough score, try harder. Uh, the badge and, the, and form to claim it will be displayed here when you have more than 70% in the graded assessment. So I've decided to make 70% my cutoff point to award the badge, so let's change that there, 70%. Finally, um, okay, I'm, I'm going to uh, let you know first that we are going to enter this in debug mode, so I'm going to enable debug mode for the first time. Otherwise, because I am creating this badge system and I don't actually have the score to earn this award, the badge is not going to be shown to me. So I'm going to enter debug mode 1 to let the system know that I want to see the badge anyway. I want to actually check that everything is correct before making this live. 
I'm going to pause the video, the, the recording momentarily to enter my credentials for the API of the Achievery um, badge hosting services. So I'm going to pause here for a moment. Okay, I'm back. I uh, entered my credentials, my private credentials with the badge awarding system while you weren't looking and I've scrolled down. So now I'm showing you again that I'm on debug mode and I'm going to click Save. On clicking Save, the X block is now talking to the badge hosting service and has hopefully fetched my badge. Here it is. It's fetched the badge 2062. The required score is 70. I can check now as an instructor. I want to check that I've entered everything correctly. The text description for the award, awarded for completing module 3 of numerical MOOC, that's correct. Congratulations, you've earned your badge for module 3, that's correct. I haven't forgotten to change perhaps the module number in the way that I'm creating the scores. I'm entering that same congratulations message but just changing the module number. All right, so I've, see, I've seen that the award has been fetched. This is the image of the award for module 3, so I can check that I've entered the correct uh, badge ID and correct it's module 3 and I can see here that this is brought also a form where the user is going to be able to enter their links to evidence of their learning through perhaps their github repository or any other object on the web that um, uh, shows their their learning that evidences their learning it could be a blog post it could be anything um, of that sort that this the, the, the earner the learner <laughs> decides to show as evidence of their um, achievement okay so it looks okay now I'm going to have to I've checked everything I'm going to have to edit this again and change the debug mode back to zero we need to do this is the way it works um, for the time being you just have to Insert it for the first time with debug mode enabled, then you can check that everything's correct, and then you edit and disable the debug mode. All right, that's the way it works. Now we've created that unit with the instructions and the badge. I don't see the badge anymore because I personally, my user name doesn't actually have the score for earning this award. I haven't entered myself as a user responses to this as uh, automatically graded assignment. But nevertheless, I can publish this. I'm the instructor, so I'm not interested in, um, in showing that, I've, uh, that I can do the assignment. I'm going to copy this location ID uh, separately in a scratch because I want to create a, a link to it later on. OK, I'm going to pause momentarily to go into the LMS now. Okay, I'm back now on the LMS side of my course and I'm showing on the left hand side the navigation bar uh, indicating the different modules and here we are on module 3. Each module has one graded assessment, one graded subsection that is the capstone graded subsection for that module. Uh, we are um, creating um, the possibility of awarding badges for each graded subsection. The X block for badges works at the subsection level. So here is my graded subsection. It has three, um, three units. Each one has different uh, problems, and this one is the final problem. The assignment for the students here was to write the solution to Euler's equations, and then, um, uh, according to the results of their code, enter some numerical values to show that their code was correct. Um, this is the final part. So now we have, uh, we have shown you the graded assessment and I'm going to show you the final unit within this subsection. This unit um, has now the instructions that I created on the studio side for students. It's just a text component and for students to understand the process. And then there's the component here. Well, you don't see anything because, again, I don't have the score myself, I haven't actually answered the um, the graded assessment, so I don't see the badge. The badge is only shown to the students when they have enough score 
for uh, claiming it. So I'm going to just going to show you some screenshots of what it will look like for a student that actually has the score. The student that has a score and that is uh, passing score to be awarded this badge will see this. We'll see the badge itself, uh, the description, and then we'll see some fields at the bottom where they can enter uh, links or an explanation um, of the evidence that they provide of their learning. This evidence becomes part of the badge and is a small, like a small e-portfolio, I suppose, where you have um, digital objects to um, as evidence that of what you've learned. Here's a zoomed out version to see the fields at the bottom underneath the badge. The MOOC participant then can fill the fields for that evidence here with a link to their GitHub account and also a free text um, optional field with some explanation. And once they click on the button, claim your badge, they get a congratulations message and they get a link to the badge itself. The badge is uh, awarded but initially private to the earner and they receive a welcome message from the badge hosting service, in this case Achievery, with instructions on how to, if they want, accept that badge after which they can share it, put it on the LinkedIn, um, Facebook timeline, timeline, share it on Twitter or whatever they want to do with it. In this case we see the profile of this one participant in the MOOC who accepted the badge uh, on logging into this system they would have seen a small notification next to that little star and they click accept and the badge is now available in their profile. And the X block is going to work on the basis of having completed the graded assessment that is included in that subsection. In this case having had a passing 70% um, as I said it, you can set that of course at will uh, for the one graded assignment. In the design of this course there is one graded assessment for each module of the course for which you can earn a badge. And here are the six badges that you can win, earn if you uh, complete the six modules of Practical Numerical Methods with Python. Our hashtag in Twitter is Numerical MOOC and Hopefully some of you will earn a badge or two or six and share on Twitter your achievements.